Hello and welcome back to Lord Fan Gaming Plays Wasteland 3. I'm your host, Lord Fan Taste Wasteland 3 walkthrough video. We're going to do two story missions Full House and Cornered Rats. As always, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. And don't forget to hit that notification bell to so be updated and more. Now, I'm doing these two story missions side by side. Also, I am going to be recruiting the Gunslinger today for that trophy slash achievement. So, first thing I want to do is talk to uh, the people around here just get some more story information if there's any way to up my fame and reputation with the various factions I'll uh, do it too first of all I'm going to talk to some people then I'll tell what's uh, going on after please my son's not a Dorsey my son's done nothing wrong you don't look like marshals do you work for the patriarch And my boy needs your help. He's going to be executed. And they won't listen when I say he's no killer. Judge Watkins has sentenced my son to die. Austin is all I have left. Everyone else died on the plains. He's a good boy. He never hurt anyone. I'm sure of it. Please, maybe Watkins will listen to you. I don't even know why he was rounded up. He won't tell me. Says he's embarrassed. I know they caught him doing something wrong, but he says he never hurt anyone. If you talk to him, maybe he'll tell you what happened. Sometimes it's easier to talk to a stranger than your mother. I know that much. Austin Pease, the skinny boy up on the platform. I can't imagine he killed anyone. We've seen enough death on our way out here. He never wanted to hurt anyone, ever. Our family escaped the wars in the East, tried to make our way across the plains. My husband, my other son, my daughters, one by one picked off and killed. Now it's just the two of us. And I'm gonna lose him, too. Please, help my son. Oh, boy. Yeah, that son's in trouble. We gotta rescue him. I'm gonna get his side of the story. And, of course, if it does match up like the mother, yeah, I'm gonna save him. If not, I'm still talk to the judge. And uh, hopefully I bring the uh, young kid to my uh, care at the Rangers HQ. If he betrays me, I'll just shoot him. The Dorseys, however, they're all going to stay put. Every single one of them. So I'm going to get this whole entire ball going. Then afterwards, I'll tell everybody what I did exactly. So here we go on this one. Ow! Sorry, I, I, didn't, I, I didn't mean to ignore you. Just got a lot, a, a lot on my mind. Made a real big mistake. See, the Plains gangs chased my mom and me off our land. We lost everything. Heard this was a place of God-fearing people and thought they'd do right by us. <laughs> people here kept us out in the cold, letting us starve to death while they sat inside, warm and fed. Then the Dorseys came and gave me some food and some kindness and asked me to do some vandalism. I figured what was the harm. I never killed no one, but I did bust some windows. Marshals caught me doing it, and they said I was working with the Dorseys. Magistrate agreed, so here I am. Mom would have talked me out of it. I should have talked to her first. We were starving. No two ways about it. We were going to die. Dorseys gave us food. I figured a few windows was a worthwhile trade for the bread and meat that saved our lives. I thought it was too harsh, but what happens if I speak up now? Will they come after my mom? I, I can't take the chance. Magistrate tells me it's death. They're gonna strip me down and tie me to those things. And they're gonna let the cold do its work. I wonder if it'll hurt. Wish I could tell you it won't, kid, but that'd be a lie.
Magistrate's a hard man. I wish I could believe it'd work. I'd do anything for someone who could get me free without hurting anybody in the process. Guess I don't have any money to give you, but I I'd pay you back in hard work, if you'll have me. I'm used to hard work around the homestead, and I ain't too bad with a gun either. My folks made sure I could hunt and fight. I always dreamed of coming to the big city and being a newspaper man. You know, interviewing people, telling the truth about how things really are. Sure didn't turn out like I hoped. No, I was never no desperado. Don't rightly know why I let myself get caught up in this. But if I'm to die, I'd at least like to do that right. I'm gonna do that like a man. Nice talking to you. Howdy, Judge. How's your heart? Still colder than a well digger's ass? Marshal Kwan. Impertinent as ever, I see. Rangers, I am Magistrate Silas Watkins. I have heard of your arrival. Partly from the confessions of the Dorsey Raiders, You'll be pleased to know that I sentenced them to death for their part in the attack on the city and your convoy. Which reminds me, that Dorsey you requested stand trial? <laughs> he was clearly guilty and sentenced to the pillories. A waste of my time. He did have this note, though, which you may find interesting. His crimes are still severe. He was part of the Dorsey uprising. He caused significant property damage. His actions diverted marshals from responding to reports of attacks, magnifying the harm the Dorseys were able to inflict. Argue a case, and I might show lenience. Hmm. I am not certain you truly understand the Patriarch's justice, but your words ring true. Perhaps death is too severe a punishment. This is irregular, but it is within my powers to grant you full custody of Austin Peace. Any further infractions he may commit are the Ranger's responsibility. I would recommend keeping him out of trouble. You should inform the boy. Best he hears the good news from you. Now, mercy on your Still here. Not looking forward to what comes next. What? Are you serious? Y you really saved my life and, and I get to be a ranger? Soon as they let me free, I'm going straight to your headquarters. I'll do whatever you need me to do. Clean guns, scrub toilets, you name it. Thank you, Th thank you, thank you. No mercy on your soul, Colorado! Rangers, what brings you here? They are the only instrument of justice we need. Serious offenders die by exposure. Sometimes, I might grant a reprieve after frostbiters claim their extremities. Oh, to the contrary. It is more merciful than the punishments meted out by the mountain clans or the gangs of the plains. If we did any less, they would see our nation as weak. And in Colorado, weakness is death. As much as we might long for the world before the bombs, when justice was not so cruel, that is not the world we inhabit. And let's be honest, Judge. You kind of like it too, don't you? No, I do not. I only do what the law commands. And since you're the law around here, I guess you're your own boss. I follow principles set forth at the second founding of this city, as you know very well. Without our laws and the penalties to enforce them, we're no better than the Wastelanders. 
For some offenses, we have a work camp on the plains. I don't approve of their methods, but it's outside my jurisdiction. Minor infractions like public drunkenness or disorderly conduct are punished by a short stay in the sheriff's lockup. Proceed. Indeed. Hey, Rangers! How'd you like that welcome party at the lake? You Rangers are heroes. I'm gonna tell everyone what you did for my son. Thank you. Death to Thank Buchanan! You. Death to the hundred stinking families! Murderers! So, really quick, I saved the son from being the fate of the Dorseys. Got some nice fame out of it. Mother thanked me. Son's going to Ranger HQ. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk to the newspaper boy for information. New in town? Did you hear about what happened? Sure has. Dorsey's got into the city, but nobody knows how. They started shooting up the place and killed a lot of people. Then they made a run at the Patriarch's Palace. Oh, but they couldn't get inside. It took a while, but Sheriff Daisy and the Marshals beat him back. Now they're holed up in the Garden of the Gods. Well, some of them, anyway. Others jumped in their trucks and ran for it. Just what I've been told. Back before I was born, they were the family that betrayed the Patriarch and tried to take charge of Colorado. Thing is, everybody thought they'd been dead for years. I mean, there's tons of stories about how the Patriarch wiped them all out. Oh, Marshall Station, right over there. You can't miss the pillories out front. Yep, I work for the Colorado Patriot. Only newspaper left in America. We tell people what's happening in the city and what they should think about it. Be careful, might still be Dorsey's hiding out Death in the city. Death to Buchanan! Death to the hundred stinking families! Mom. Mom? Oh, I... Sorry. Never mind. What? Why? What do you want? No, please, I just need you to go away. Please. I... I don't know. We were heading to Colorado Springs with a lot of other folks when we... We, uh... Got separated. Uh... I hurried here as quick as I could after, but I ain't found her anywhere. I keep hoping. <laughs> there, there was this smiling lady. She said she had some food, and I could take some back to my mom if I came with her. And next thing I know, she was gonna sell me. She put me in a cage. One of her men took me out of the cage to, to, I kicked them as hard as I could and ran. They didn't find me in the dark. And then I saw some refugees and tagged along. Stayed with them till I got here. Uh, bye. Now, we got some good information from the newspaper boy and found out the last person I talked to was an escaped slave. Good thing, hopefully she will be safe here. If not, yeah, that'll be tragic. So before I do talk to Sheriff Daisy, I'm going to talk to the gunslinger. Yeah, she's one of the recruitable characters. I'm not going to be able to recruit her yet, but still, I want to get her side of the story. Just figure out who she is. Ah, oh, Marshals. Finally. I was beginning to think you were never going to help. Hold on now. You aren't Marshals. You look like... Ruffians. Are you here to see the sheriff? Well, I'm first. I've been waiting here on tenterhooks for an hour. I... Forgive me. That was unkind. I just... I am under considerable duress. My family has been kidnapped by those no-good Dorseys and... And the marshals will give me no answers about their situation. They won't even speak to me. I must know how the sheriff intends to rescue them. And when. That may be, 
but my family is one of the leading families of Colorado Springs. We have been longtime allies of the Patriarch and supporters of all he stands for. Surely that should be given some consideration. I... I... I suppose not. We are all equal in the eyes of God, as they say. I am just... frustrated. That is all. It doesn't seem that anything is being done. My name is Lucia Wesson, daughter of Percival Wesson and Maria Reyes of the Hundred Families. But now they and my little brother have been kidnapped by those good-for-nothing Dorseys, and... and I fear for their lives. We are the founding families of Colorado Springs, descended from the survivalists who came together after the deluge of fire and helped the patriarch build a stronger Colorado. I'm proud to trace my lineage back before the war on both sides of my family. Someone let the Dorseys into town, and the savages have taken my family hostage, along with a good many others, and retreated to the Garden of the Gods. I came here to demand that Sheriff Daisy immediately mount an expedition to save them, but her marshals keep putting me off. No good traitors, that's what they are. Used to be hundred families, like us, but rotten. Backstabbers, every one of them. At least that's what my father says. They rebelled against the Patriarch before I was born and were driven from the city. I was always told they were dead and gone. It seems I was misinformed. Well, you look capable enough, but I don't know you from Adam. Why, you might be robbers or bandits. No, thanks all the same, but I think I'll continue to wait on the proper authorities. Frustrating though that may be. Sheriff Daisy, I will not leave until you speak to me. <sighs> now, before I actually uh, talk to Sheriff Daisy and receptionist, say I'm here, I'm going to loot the joint up. If there's anything locked, I'm just going to just leave it for now. Unless I could be real sneaky about it. That's an old school interrogation room. That's really nice. Let's go ahead and get some supplies. Let's get some free stuff, everyone. If it's not locked down or any guards there, it's free. Yeah, seriously, it is free. Okay, that is locked for a reason. That's probably ammunition, obviously. So let's go ahead and loot this up. That's nice. That's some good medical stuff. I do need that since I didn't find a shop yet. So I'm done looting for now. I am going to do is uh, talk to the receptionist. Say I am here before talking to Sheriff Daisy. Yeah. Miss West, Miss Wesson, could you? I'm sorry. I have to talk to these folks. Sorry about that. Are you the Rangers? We were told to expect you. Sheriff Daisy is waiting for you in the back. Thanks, Torres. Anytime, Marshal Kwan. Reports. Lots of reports. The Dorsey raid really tore up the town. Murder, looting, fires. They even attacked this station. Not that they got very far. It's been exhausting. <laughs> Don't blink. It's on the back of the box. We keep the peace here in Colorado Springs. Mostly, though... We do what Sheriff Daisy says. Thanks. If you've got any feedback, be sure to fill out a form. Now it's time to talk to Sheriff Daisy. Before I do any of that, I'm checking everything out. Nice. They got good coffee here. This is good. This is really good. Yeah, I might as well see if I can loop anything else. That's there. Nothing there. That's a nice uh, board. That's all right. So let's talk to Sheriff Daisy. At the museum when the attack started. Well, now you must be the Rangers. I'm the sheriff around here, but you can call me Daisy. Old Saul tells me you're a bunch of badasses, and I ain't one to turn away a badass, especially at a time like this. I reckon you already heard all about the Dorsey raid, so I won't bore you with the details. Suffice it to say, we whooped them good, and the survivors are holed up in the Garden of the Gods with a bunch of hostages. Thing is, I lost a lot of marshals. 
My boys and girls are tired and beat up. You want to make some fast friends around here? You could go into the garden and speak to those Dorseys for us. Maybe find out how the hell they got into the city in the first place. And by speak, you mean shoot the everlasting shit out of them and save those hostages, right, boss? Quan, I hear you're some fancy liaison now. Old Saul taking my people without even asking? How dare he? Anyway, yes, you rascal. That's exactly what I mean. But question him first, you hear? Ma'am, yes, ma'am. That girl? You think I ain't heard her yapping? But I got a couple of 50 other people yapping at me, too. Tell you what, though. Her people are hundred family folks from the fancy side of town, so they got some pull. You can do me a big favor and kill two birds with one stone if you take little Miss Wesson with you when you go to save them. In fact, I'm going to insist on it. I need that girl out of my hair. I'll let Lipinski know you're bringing her along. He won't let you into the garden without her. Don't worry. She knows which end of the gun the bullets come out of. Go in there and kick some ass, Rangers. Hmm. I'm not sure why the sheriff didn't assign me marshals, but, well, beggars can't be choosers. I am the Miss Wesson she spoke of. Lucia Wesson, daughter of Percival Wesson and Maria Reyes of the Hundred Families. As Sheriff Daisy told you, they and some of our neighbors were taken hostage by the Dorseys, and I mean to free them. All of them. So, I am ready when you are. It's a project of the Ward family, a showcase for their know-how. They grow food there using the latest technologies. Colorado Springs leads the world in science. But there are plenty of places to hide in the garden. The Dorseys could be laying for us anywhere. We shall have to be cautious. Certainly. My father taught me to shoot almost before I could walk, and I'm the best shot in the city. Oh, it's true. She's a prodigy, all right. Also a pain in the ass. I... No. But I have hunted. There's no need to worry that I will be shy about pulling the trigger. I promise, strangers, if it is to save my family, I will not hesitate. At last. Good news is I got the uh, gunslinger. That's really good news. I'll probably check out her stats off screen or maybe the next video. I'll tell everybody what's up with her uh, stats. For now, it looks like she is into small guns. So I can give her a nice revolver and a wrench just in case she runs out of ammunition. That's why I did it. So now next up, I'm going to go ahead and explore some more. Parts of Full House is still on the way. And I am still doing corner rats. Oh boy, look like trouble up ahead. Martha, why else would I even keep a shotgun or rat? Garden of the Gods is just north of Market Square. Marshal Lupinski should be out front. Dorseys! They come, Sarnet. You Dorsey peckerheads, get on out of there. Hush up now, Josiah. You can't go in there alone. They'll kill you. You think I can't handle myself? I've put down worse than these in my time. Oh, since when? You've been a shopkeeper all your life. Will you help me talk some sense into this old fool? If he goes after those Dorseys, he'll get himself killed. Some of those Dorsey bastards are hiding out in my shop. My shop! Finest clothing store in the whole dang town. So I'm going in after them. They're too busy. Besides, a man should be able to protect his own shop. Thank you. Keep an old man from killing himself, will you? Killing myself? 
can't you pretend to have some faith in me, Martha? Especially in front of these soldier types? You do this, you'll get a nice discount at the shop. Assuming I still have a shop by the time it's all over. Time to help out the shopkeeper. I mean, the Dorseys are hiding in there. Well, guess what? They're all going to die. Ooh, I almost got caught, so I'm going to go ahead and start shooting. Well, looks like the shop has been cleared out. Let me uh, go ahead and check the loot. Let's see. Bullets. That's normal. That's not bad. Bic lighter. I'll sell that Polaroid photo. That is really nice. Tax evasion for morons. Yeah, that's really good. Unfortunately, that's useless here. So let me see. Say if I cannot open, I need pick locks to be high. We'll grab this. This is nice. We're going to see what else is there before I tell the shopkeeper the good news. I have looting rights now. All right, some ammunition. So I'm all done. So hopefully I do get a nice reputation bump or some information. So let's go ahead and tell the shopkeeper the good news. And hopefully the shop is open later on. Phew, boy. Thanks again for taking care of those Dorseys. Say, if you got hurt in that scrap, you should see a friend of mine, Doc Parker. He set up a clinic in the Arapaho garage, just outside the city gate. And here, a little token of our appreciation. Come on back after we reopen the shop. I knew you had the look of soldiers about you. Let me uh, go ahead and give a nice recap for uh, today's video because yeah, it looked like this might be more combat. So what happened was we saved a kid from being frozen to death, number one. Number uh, two, we talked to some people. Then, of course, we talked to a sheriff and got the gunslinger to join us. And finally, we cleared out a shop full of the Dorseys. In the next video, I'm going to explore more of Colorado Springs downtown and still do parts of Corner Rats. Hopefully, we finish that up and still do full house to look for uh, people for the Rangers headquarters. Well, this is it for my Wasteland 3 video. This is Lord Fent signing off. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day or night. Please stay safe. Please subscribe to my channel for more content like this. If you do like what you see, hit that subscribe button and check out my suggestions on the upper left hand corner or the bottom left hand corner YouTube suggestion. Have a wonderful day or night. Please stay safe.